Hi, I'm David Libo. I'm a PhD student working on game to speech a system that will provide audio description for games. Today we're gonna use PlayFibe, a Microsoft telemetry tool that is used in many games for data analysis. Here we are in the Unity game engine. I made a very simple game with only one cube. I also imported the PlayFab SDK. It is installed. In my scene, I have a PlayFibe object with a script that is asking two values, the game to speech access key and a channel for authentication purposes. Now let's check what is happening in my script. We can find the two variables and a bunch of stuff that let your game connect to PlayFab. In the end of the script, we have an event called on audio description event. Our two variables are used here, but two other variables are asked when this event is triggered. A type and a value. We also add an audio description tag when sending this data to PlayFab. Now let's get back to our scene. We have a cube with its own cube script. Let's open it. Here we have a simple onTrigger enter function. So when the player hits the cube, it calls the on audio description event function of the playfab script with collide and our object name as parameters. Now let's launch the game, but first I will display the console. Here we are. In the console, we can already see that we are connected to playfab. Now I am going to work in the cube. In the console, we can see that audio description events have been sent. It's working. Now, let's set up how we transmit PlayFab data to the game to speech API. I have just logged in the PlayFab dashboard, then click on New Game, then go to Data under Analyze, and Webhooks. With Webhooks, it's super easy to send data to somewhere else on the web. Here, I already have an example hook. You will have to put the endpoint URL. Here, I put slash debug because I was testing. But we'll put something like slash up slash playfab in the end. I have also supplementary headers, but the most important part is the filters. Here I am filtering the event name in order to have only other deception events. And that's all. Data are sent to the game to speech server. Here is a sample. We find our access token, our channel, our data type and value as expected. Thanks to that, Spectator could enjoy audio description. If you want to learn more, go to gentospeed.com slash use case slash playfab.